Recently, I've been playing the Five Nights at Freddy's games over on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash zingttv, because I'm a huge fan of the series. Even after all these years of playing the games, there were a few I hadn't completely finished for one reason or another. One of these was Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Simulator. This is one of my favorite games in the series because of how it subverts expectations and blows fans away with its extremely memorable final cutscene. The ending to this game perfectly wraps up the main story that had been shrouded in mystery for so long and is a very satisfying conclusion. However, I don't believe it has the best ending out of all of the FNAF games. I got an Oculus Quest 2 virtual reality headset for Christmas last year. I had always wanted to play FNAF Help Wanted for myself even after seeing others play it so I was happy to finally have the chance to. Let me start by saying that this game is the most terrifying thing I have literally ever experienced. It is perfectly crafted to have you relive the nightmare situations of the previous games in the most extreme way possible. But I'm not here to talk about the majority of Help Wanted's gameplay. I want to tell you why I think this game has the best ending out of any game in the entire FNAF series. The way you quote unquote complete this game and get to the end credits actually takes quite a bit of time. You have to beat every level in the game on normal difficulty and then beat them all again on the game's hard mode. This unlocks the final level aptly named Pizza Party. The other levels function very differently to this one. Usually you're just trying to survive remakes of previous entries in the series, or doing shorter and more simple mini-games like repairing the four main animatronics, or even solving puzzles in the vents. When it comes to Pizza Party, this is the first time that the player is tasked to find their way through a labyrinth of sounds and smells, misdirection, and misfortune. Basically, it's a maze in the form of a warped amalgamation of different iconic locations from the series, like the Pizzeria from FNAF 1, Fazbear's Fright from FNAF 3, Plus Shop's Hallway from FNAF 4, and many others. This is the first time in the game that the player feels truly helpless. Every scenario we are thrown into before this feels somewhat familiar, but this is different. You can immediately tell there is something off about this level the moment you enter it. The paths are extremely daunting and confusing, and the feeling you get is very similar to that of a lost child. When you finally get through the maze, you're rewarded with cake and pizza. For the first time in this level, all the tension of finding your way through is lost, but only for a moment. The curtain in front of you slides open just a bit to reveal a face that is all too familiar. Now, when the player is in the menu area, more often than not, a glitchy looking rabbit can be seen to the right either waving or just standing there. This character looks familiar yet foreign since their specific design hadn't been seen before this game. When you see him at the end of Pizza Party, a horrifying realization quickly sets in. His true color scheme is revealed and his glitchy nature from before is completely stripped away. As he coaxes you to follow him, you finally get to live through the one scenario that defines FNAF's story and hasn't clearly been shown until now. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Fazbear Entertainment would like you to put your hands together for the one, the only, the only, 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 God, that sentence chills down my spine every time I see it. I'll show a more brightened version of it now so you can see it a little better. But yes, this ending right here is the best in the entire series without question. Not only is it basically a love letter to the diehard fans of FNAF, but it is also extremely chilling for new players to see. On top of that, the symbolism of the specific location you are in during this ending is downright genius. This ending is supposed to kind of have the series come full circle. In the first game, we vaguely hear about these murders of children and possessions of animatronics, but now in this game, we finally get to live that fantasy. Help Wanted itself also comes full circle with this ending to kind of portray that. 
The menu area where you choose the level you want to play seems to be the only safe plays you have in this game, right? The ending of the game plants you right back in that former safe place, and this time it is anything but safe. After all these years, we finally come face to face with the antagonist of this series. This has technically already happened in FNAF 3, however this time, there is nothing we can do, much like his previous youthful victims. As we watch him prance around the room, you can't help but smile as all of the memories of this wonderful franchise start to flood back. The pizza party level itself is also a perfect lead up to this ending. You get to look back through the past places from the series for the last time before meeting your miserable demise. Not only that, but we get to view our tormentor from the eyes of the one that has haunted us for years, Freddy Fazbear himself. It's almost poetic in a way. Compared to other endings in this franchise, Help Wanted seems to be forgotten quite often which is honestly a shame. Obviously the ending to Pizzeria Simulator is a perfect way to wrap up the main lore for the games, but I don't think everybody can get something out of it. Most people who know about FNAF aren't incredibly invested in its complex lore, so when they see that ending, it won't mean as much for them. Most of the other games don't even really have very interesting end cutscenes anyway. Most of the time, it's a singular screen telling you that you beat the game, or a minigame with no dialogue that can have many interpretations. Getting scooped at the end of Sister Location is the only other ending that even comes close, and even that is there more or less for the jump scare factor without nearly as much significance. Ever since I first saw the ending for Help Wanted, it is stuck in my mind like a reoccurring nightmare. It's simple, effective, has a perfect build-up, and is perfect for any type of player to enjoy. Obviously, the other endings in this series are fantastic as well, but none of them are as strong in all areas like this one is. If you get a chance to try this game in VR, I highly recommend it. It's very well crafted and comes to one of the most satisfying conclusions in a video game I've ever seen. Thanks for watching. Did I do it? Let's go! Oh shit. Can I take pizza with me? Holy fuck. Okay, well, I guess I'm going back there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. What? Where's my flashlight? Put your hands together for the one, the only, the only, 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 What? Oh, no way. Wait, am I? Oh, what the fuck? I forgot about this completely. We did it. That was absolutely terrifying. This entire experience. Holy my god. Good lord. 